Bye, pen friends. That was uh, for, for me one of the clearly key points of your study, but uh, it's not a surprising one. Our LPs uh, are demanding uh, that uh, we tackle all those issues, the climate, innovation, but also the social uh, changes. So it's not a, a surprise. Um, we um, at France Invest, as you know, we started a long time ago to work on those issues. 10 years ago, actually, we created our ESG commission, uh, but we are accelerating on this topic. Uh, we just remain, renamed our commissions, uh, Sustainability Commission, uh, with, um, with the strong ambitions on uh, trainings, on um, uh, transformation of uh, our portfolio companies, and also on all the reporting issues. So it's clearly like a, a real tsunami uh, for all uh, our um, uh, GPs. Uh, so we are working deeply uh, on that and uh, accelerating. Challenge for sure, because uh, we need to, uh, to adapt. And uh, I think for, uh, for the largest uh, GPs and companies, uh, they are already quite well advanced, but for, uh, for the smaller one, uh, we will have to catch up. It's going to require a lot of uh, energy, time uh, for all of us. The ESG issues are now um, at the center of uh, all the companies. And it's also uh, what is uh, now asked by all the, the consumers, by uh, the employees of companies. So if you want to create value in any sector uh, you are working in it's it's uh, it's clearly um, a center point so i think it's a huge opportunity for the companies both portfolio companies and gps which will be the the best in class so it will create value uh, increase in um, in valuation and also multiple for the for the companies both uh, at um, inflation uh, risks and also uh, interest rates. For sure, we can see that uh, uh, in uh, more in the US, but it's coming also in Europe that, that interest rates are rising. Uh, and, uh, and we also see that uh, uh, looking at the general environment, the fact that we are convinced that decarbonization of the economy will cost, to the company and to the society, that uh, there, there is also clearly issues on, um, on raw material. Uh, inflation is, uh, is a real concern for all of us. Looking at opportunities, we, as we were, as the, the, the market was uh, very um, um, attracted by what we called for the last 18 months, the COVID proof asset. Uh, we might now look uh, at what we might call uh, the inflation uh, proof asset. So clearly it might increase the valuation and the prices for such type of uh, asset and companies. It is our responsibility to democratize uh, private equity and to ensure that individual investors have access to our asset class, uh, which is profitable, but also uh, offer, uh, offer sense. For the first semester of 2021, we noticed that um, the, the private individuals and family offices uh, have um, increased a lot in uh, the amounts which we have raised because it's 1.7 billion euro it's uh, more than 50% uh, compared to 2020. So we can really see that the things are improving there. Um, we are convinced that it's uh, the, really the beginning because of the level of, uh, of uh, wealth, which is tied up in um, investment, um, like uh, savings, retirement, employee uh, scheme. Uh, so um, we um, have set up uh, a working group in September to try to uh, better understand 
uh, what are the barriers which we still have to uh, mobilize to increase this, uh, this trend. And uh, we also are deeply engaged to create a, a, a training uh, for distributors uh, to, to give better tools to understand this asset class. But we can really feel uh, that um, there is a strong appetite for uh, both distributors uh, and uh, GPs. The more it goes, uh, the more we have number of funds over 1 billion euro. So with such size of fund, you know, you cannot stay on your domestic market. Uh, so that's probably one of the, the reason. Uh, another reason I think is that uh, we see also some kind of consolidation on our, our market with the creation of platforms. And um, with such size, now you are able to open offices in other European countries. So it's, it's a clear trend. So more um, deals and transactions outside of, uh, of France. Uh, what we can see also is uh, from one part, we have this platform. And from the other part, we also have a um, new first-time fund with very uh, vertical expertise. Uh, for example, in healthcare or in fintech. So we have a couple of players with the vertical expertise and they cannot concentrate on one market. So those guys, they are clearly looking at uh, transactions in Europe or even outside of, uh, of Europe. And, um, and the number of this uh, first time fund has uh, increased during the last uh, three, uh, three years. And the last explanation I can see is that, um, as you know, uh, we have these uh, fabulous results with the French tech. So a lot of uh, uh, our um, venture GPs, uh, of course, they, they are growing also in size and uh, they invest not only in France, but uh, also in Europe and even outside of Europe. We uh, all know that our industry uh, is still suffering from uh, misrepresentation. So it's our day-to-day uh, uh, day, uh, day, -day uh, work. Um, so we, we do quite a lot on that because um, we have a couple of initiatives for uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, so we have uh, realized uh, videos with the CEO of portfolio companies explaining what GPs do and uh, how they act as a partner to, uh, to the entrepreneur. The idea is, um, is really to explain uh, how we create value in uh, companies, how we work on digitalization, on helping them uh, in, um, in uh, acquisitions, but uh, also now uh, what we're going to do on this uh, famous uh, path to um, decarbonization. Uh, so uh, this is a concrete example of, uh, of what we do. Uh, we um, also work uh, more and more closely to all business associations in France, like Medev, Metis, CPME, and, uh, and Croissance Plus. So it's very important for us to, uh, to set up such relationship to fight against some uh, wrong ideas that... Um, uh, entrepreneurs can have about uh, private equity. We also um, had a very good event uh, with the candidates uh, for the French uh, presidential, and we did this event with um, business association. The idea then is, um, is a, it's a lot also about education, both to uh, the public authorities, but also to all the players also to give us visibility to explain and explain really what we do and uh, the, the, the value creation and especially how we contribute to, um, to, to the economy, even uh, and especially in terms of uh, job creation, because we measure it at the end of the day with job creation. We will be delighted to meet with you in Cannes in September.